income inequality is a pressing issue, both in the United States and around the world. In general, it's assumed that high income inequality has negative consequences, so it's fairly important to develop a simple way to describe income inequality graphically. As we're about to see, the Lorenz curve does exactly that. The Lorenz curve is a simple way to describe income distribution using a two-dimensional graph. To do this, imagine lining people or households, depending on the context, in an economy up in order of income from smallest to largest. The horizontal axis of the Lorenz curve is then the cumulative percentage of these lined up people that are being considered. For example, the number 20 on the horizontal axis would represent the bottom 20% of income earners, the number 50 would represent the bottom half of income earners, and so on. The vertical axis of the Lorenz curve is the percent of total income in the economy. We can start plotting the Lorenz curve itself by noting that the points 0, 0 and 100, 100 have to be the ends of the curve. This is simply because the bottom 0% of the population, which has no people in it, has to have 0% of the income, and 100% of the population, again by definition, has to have 100% of the income. The rest of the curve is then constructed by looking at all the percentages of the population between 0 and 100 percent and plotting the corresponding percentages of income. And we're going to get something that looks like this. Now what we mean by this is let's say hypothetically that the bottom 25 percent of the population makes 5 percent of the income. That means that the point 255 would be on our Lorenz curve, and it would look like something probably about right here. Similarly, if it were the case, hypothetically, that the bottom 50% of the population had 20% of the income, the point 5020 would also be on our Lorenz curve, and it would look something like this. We could continue this logic and say, again, hypothetically, that if the bottom 75% of the population makes 40% of the income, then the point 7540 will be on our Lorenz curve, and that would be somewhere out here. In this way, it's pretty easy to see that the entire curve is constructed by looking at different percentages of the population and seeing what fraction of the total income they have. Because of the way that the Lorenz curve is constructed, it'll always be bowed downwards as in the example here. This is simply because it's mathematically impossible for the bottom 20% of earners to make more than 20% of the income for the bottom 50% of earners to make more than 50% of the income, and so on. The dotted line here on the diagram is the 45 degree line that represents perfect income equality in an economy. If everyone makes the same amount of money, then the bottom 5% has 5% of the income, the bottom 10% has 10% of the income, and so on. Therefore, we can conclude that Lorenz curves that are bowed further away from this diagonal correspond to economies with more income inequality, and Lorenz curves that are closer to this diagonal corresponds to economies with higher degrees of equality or lower degrees of inequality.